gonna let you take a break until September. Right? But this is what I need from you guys. Um, first of all, let me let me just digress and go back to early on in September. So this started a little. This was a little conversation between Nick and myself, right? On how do you bring and connect the pattern folks that have become an integral part of this office back to the schools, back to the folks that that teach the kids and and help run the system, right? And we we thought about it, right? What can we do? to connect folks and this little idea of you can was born and the first month um and and nick will attest to this even though he's gonna deny it right so that first day i was apoplectic right because i had to find some things to be done and the things didn't get done right so i was a little frustrated uh, and we quickly learned that the way that we were trying to do it wasn't gonna work, right? Um, which is great, right? Because you always gotta look at what you're doing and as you move along, this is working, this is not working. We, we talk about all being like learners, right? That's what this is about. How do you change midstream and be flexible enough to change the path that you're taking and go somewhere else? And in those conversations, what the final product is, has been the work that you guys done, have done this year. And I'm going to just run you through some quick things that we've done. And no, it is not going to rain. <laughs> so we're good. Right? We, start, we started off with packing some food for PSAT. <laughs> Which, when we started to do that, we, have, we had no clue what we were really doing because it wound up that we. We had to get the food ourselves and bring the stuff here. And we didn't have enough cars. And who was going to pack it? And who was going to bring it? But again, the folks rose to the challenge. And we were able to pack that food in about an hour. Wow. That was amazing. That was amazing. Not only did we pack it in that short amount of time, we delivered it to the school. Right? A caravan of cars. People giving up their time doing community service for a project that was very worthwhile at PSAT. The bus drivers were on strike. Those are our those are our brothers and sisters, right? Okay. We had 65 people join us from here to man their picket line down the block. And it was cold that day. Those of you that were, it was freezing. Right? And as Lo could have it, since we are so organized, yeah. Nick, run and get a microphone and a stand because they didn't have a mic and a stand. Susie, go get donuts and coffee because nobody thought about bringing something warm for people to drink. Right? That's what we do. Parents and the folks, you know, from the schools coming out to support somebody else. Right? It wasn't our fight. We were connected. Right? Any fight that we can have with the city, we're power to the people, we're there. Right? But it really wasn't our fight. But to get the amount of folks on a Saturday in blistering cold weather to support another group of folks, that's amazing. That's amazing. The work that we did this June 1st in this parking lot was short of being incredible. It was absolutely amazing. And if you have not had the opportunity, right, we were gonna do a quick video and but it's hot, so we didn't do the video. But if you go to the Facebook page or you can Facebook page, the time lapse that we did, all right, from the moment the truck entered this this lot through the following moment when the last car drove away with the last 20, 30 books that were left there. Because some, somebody did that. They did. But nobody was going to open the trunk and dump everything that was left. Well, we took, so we got it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if you have an opportunity, go look at the time lapse. Right? It, it's about two minutes long. 
right? What was a 24 hour cycle. But it is interesting. At one point, the yard is empty, and all of a sudden, you see people coming out this door, and two seconds later, there are no books on the ground. Amazing, amazing. We could not have done that by ourselves. No way, no shape, no how. Okay? That we, that, that project brought into this borough four hundred thousand dollars worth of books that's incredible we could not have done that by ourselves right that is a tribute to everybody sitting in this room right and we have 250 volunteers at night okay so again that, that's absolutely amazing that's absolutely amazing but i fundamentally believe Right? That you can can be a lot greater next year than it was this year. Yeah, because a lot more people know. Right. Yeah. Right. And if it's only the folks under this tent coming out that we're not doing it right. Mm -hmm. Right. We need to increase this. There was 250 okay. folks there at the last U can event. We need to start off with 250 folks and end with a thousand for next year. That has to be our collective goal. All right, so that's my challenge to all of you. You need to get back to your schools, get this information out, okay? If you're one of the community folks, you need to get this out. We don't turn anybody away, you know that. We can make this the connection for the Bronx that is sorely lacking in the Bronx. But because for much too long, we've been, we've been operating in silos. This school does not know what that school is doing. Uh -huh. That school could care less what right. happening in this block. Mm -hmm. This block doesn't want to look at that block yep. and so on. So we can change that. And by the work that we've been doing, I see that we have made tremendous progress. We got a long way to go. But you can, for well, the Bronzeboro office, is the vehicle that we're moving in. So again, I, I would implore you to bring more folks out. Um, Robert, that means that whoever's left in your school that hasn't come out, because they're all here, you make sure they're here. Right? So the chapter leaders in the room, who constantly, right, bring out folks from your school, I encourage you to continue to do that. I'm gonna ask all the chapter leaders that are here to stand for more. I'm gonna ask all the power reps that are here to stand as well.
my dick, you can get on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for the rest of the folks, I have to say, from Hector and his team that always comes and makes sure that we have a nice spread, right? I mean, these folks. <laughs> Why don't you join? Sit on the station, come on. Before, before air conditioning, we all live this way. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> come join us, folks. Come on, Sharon. Come on. Come on. Don't be afraid. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Sharon, what do you want? Uh -huh. That's why I don't use AC. Come on, folks. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. I don't like it. <laughs> we'll get you. Oh, that too. Can't afford it. But even, I don't like this it. This year, folks, are in the air conditioning. And I just want to take this opportunity as we move things forward, right? One of the things that we found that was that was important to us. In order to keep you can moving and growing, we decided that, that we needed to, to put together a board, right? A group of folks, an advisory board, a group of folks that can come out, help us plan, right? We don't know everything that's happening in the Bronx. There may be something that one of you is working on that we can partner on, right? And continue to grow this. So I'm gonna ask all of the people that we have in, that we have invited to be on the board to please stand. successful as the folks that are sitting in this room. Um, you guys, I, I'm in awe of you guys, right? You don't have to do this work. Right? At the end of the day, myself, the staff, we get paid to do this kind of work. The folks sitting in this room, you do not. Mm -hmm. right? But it is your commitment on a day-to-day -day basis that makes this organization better. So I continue to ask you for your advocacy, continue to stay with us. I know sometimes you're like, I cannot go to another thing those days if I do this So if that's the day for you that you can't come, make sure you send somebody in your place. Right? Make sure that you send somebody in your place so that your voice does not disappear. Right? Again, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Eat some cheese, have some fruit. Open the music back and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you for